Traders, it is Friday, uh, the week is in the books, a lot of profits has been made, but I thought I would make a video, especially for a lot of new traders watching, how to actually read the price chart and how do we look for high probability setups. Because if you take a look at a chart and I mark the setups that according to our rules would be a high probability setups, uh, it probably makes no sense how to get to the conclusion to take these trades. So I want to take a time today and show you guys how to take these setups and how to find these setups. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to put an exponential moving average 21 bar on our chart. I'm just going to make it visible. I already have it prepared. This blue line right here this is exponential moving average 21 bar EMA. When prices are above the EMA, we're running an uptrend. When prices are below EMA, we're running a downtrend. And when prices are swinging up and down, up and down, and EMA is in the middle of those bars, prices are in a trading range. This is just a supportive indicator. So we don't rely on trading indicators. We rely, we rely on price action rules. So what it means we are trading a naked chart. When I'm looking at the chart, what I'm wanting to do is I want to find a key entry point. I want to find high probability setup. And I want to identify the overall market structure. The key entry points are trend line support resistance lines and the exponential moving average. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a look at the beginning of the day. And the day started with the tiny little downtrend with the break and a new load. It's exactly according to price action rules. According to trend line rules in price action, when price will break the trend line, the traders will attempt to make a new extreme. So we have a break and a new low. So from this point on, the downtrend played out. Now it's time for correction or possibly straight up reversal. We can see a strong push above the EMA. And we have a first entry long, second entry long, and prices keeps working higher. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing as I did right here. I'm going to draw my shortened trend line because I want to stay on the right side of the market. I want to see what is happening. And I don't want to get, you know, trapped into opposite direction of a trend. You know, st stay with the trend, trend is a friend. Market keeps pushing higher. And take a look, we have a break and a new high. Okay, so the uptrend played out. But notice what is happening. We have a higher low, higher low, higher high higher low once again and prices are pushing to the higher high so it's obviously some sort of bigger channel because this shortened trend line is way too tight and way too tiny for the overall structure that is presenting itself to me so what i'm going to do i'm going to use first two swings that's how i normally identify the trend when i start trading at the beginning of the day using first two swings so i'm going to do i'm going to draw a trend line something like this i'm just going to copy it put it to the top it fits nicely up here and it fits nicely up here now, what do we see? Prices bounce off the other side of the trend line and we have a first entry long, second entry long. This is a second entry long, is a high probability setup because market likes to move into, so this is a two-legged pullback. We're bouncing off the EMA. Remember, this is a supportive indicator and EMA is one of the key entry points. So we're with the trend, second entry long, but this bar is way too big. So I didn't mark it because we cannot use a sound money management system entering on this bar. So we just have to watch this go without us. But the trend is up. It is a second entry long and the market keeps pushing higher. Now take a look what do we have here. Actually, I'm going to keep moving forward and come back to this a little bit later. Prices are now pushing lower. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw my shortened trend line just like this. I always want to stay on the right side of the mar market every single time. I have to draw the shortened trend lines. Just it is as important as the bigger trend lines as well. Now we have a pullback to the EMA. So one can say, oh, we're in an uptrend. Okay, it is a bullish uptrend, higher highs, higher lows each time. This is a perfect uptrend. We're bouncing off the EMA and this is a nice bullish bar. So I should go long, right? Well, no, because first of all, this is the new high. This high is higher than this high. So we're counting, resetting, and this is the first entry long. And first entry is not high probability setup. Second entry is a high probability setup at the key entry point. So this is only first entry long. Now, more important, take a look how prices broke through this upper trend line and when this is a called overshoot this is a ladder imbalance in the market market is really overbought this is a last depletion move up and overshoots a lot of times lead to break of a trend line on the opposite side right here so this is exactly what happened today overshoot leads to break of a trend line and break of a trend line happened right here so when the prices are over overshooting the trend line need to anticipate at least to get back to the trend line or possibly straight up break the trend line or even straight up reverse in the opposite direction we may not even continue working higher because remember after price will break the trend line traders will attempt to make a new extreme but when i see overshoot it may not happen price can continue working lower reversing so this is the overshoot we have a first entry long pullback second entry long right here 
but now we're below EMA. So when prices are below EMA, we're in a downtrend, so we're below EMA. We're not touching quite the trend line, but more importantly, I need to pay respect to this overshoot. This is why I want to talk less about this. So still, this overshoot is still very valid. I can measure the overshoot. A lot of times the break will be measured. You can see it is very close to being measured and we have a break of this uptrend. Now, when prices will break the trend line, traders will attempt to make a new extreme. So what we are expecting right now, potentially for prices to make a new extreme or for the downtrend to start establishing because the overshoot can you know, create enough power and pull the market lower. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sit on my hands. I'm not going to take this long because this is not a high probability setup. It's not at the key entry point, but notice how prices push strongly above the EMA and created a high low setup. And notice trend line is holding prices. EMA is holding prices, two key entry points. It is confirmation of the previous trend that was bullish. So this is a good enough indication that a lot of buyers are jumping into the market and I'm expecting the new high. So I can throw this idea out of the window. The price will make straight up reversal and continue working down because we now just pushed above the EMA and we are now above the EMA. And prices, so this is a high low setup. It's just a first entry short, but we have two key entry points and a nice signal bar. And the overall market, market context is good here. And prices keep working higher. And here we have a high probability setup. High probability setup is second entry at the key entry point, but we can look for failed second entries against the trend. Trend is up, so we're looking for failed second entries to the downside. This is the new low, first entry short, pullback, second entry short right here. We're not interested in taking the second entry short why because the trend is up i'm going to draw my short-term trend line because i want to see once again where the break is and where the new high is probably going to be so we have a first entry short second entry short failure but we didn't trigger above this bar we didn't trigger above this inside bar we created this nice bullish bar confirming once again the ema we're above the ema and once we get the trigger above this nice bar this is a failed second entry short EMA is holding prices, we are with the trend and we are expecting for prices to create a new high. So this would be a very high probability setup because all the reasons are lined up for us to take this trade. Now, nothing is 100%, nothing is written in the stone when it comes to price action. But if you just follow the rules, 8 or 9 times out of 10, this is going to be a high probability setup. And price created a new high. Take a look what happened again. Repeat pattern. Repeat patterns, repeat for a reason and it works. So this is once again another overshoot. So what you're expecting is the same thing you're expecting right here. You have a pullback to the EMA. I'm going to draw my short trend line, pull back to the EMA, but it's just a first entry and I don't care. I have overshoot and we may just break the trend line just like we did here. So I'm just going to sit on my hands. I'm not going to go long after breaking a new high, new high of this bigger channel. So there are two new highs of the short trend line, bigger trend line, plus we have overshoot. So I'm just going to sit on my hands and let the market do what it's going to do. And by the way, this was the first entry long. Uh, this was the first leg down, pullback, second leg down. It was a two-legged move I wanted to show you. I forgot about that. Prices keep pushing lower below EMA, but we keep pushing. Once again, we have a break, new low, new low. And I see these three lows. So what I did when I was watching it live, I drew my trend line something like this. And I had it like here. What I did, I could have probably moved it like here and I could have treated this as an overshoot which was probably a mistake on my part because I, I put it like this because when I saw this trade happening, I really like this overall structure because now we have a new high of this uptrend. So the uptrend played out and we are working lower, will be low EMA. So I'm expecting for price to go all the way down to here to the low of the day. That's what I'm expecting according to price action rules. So we have a new low right here, first entry short, second entry short. Once again, two-legged pullback, off the trend line, off the key entry point, worked easily for a scalp for eight ticks, and then market bounce off me. Once the market is bouncing off me right now, and remember, I have this trend line working lower, so I'm expecting for price to create a break and a new low. But look how we pushed higher above the EMA. Something is changing right here. Once again, just like we did right here, we pushed strongly above the EMA, so something is changing. There's not a lot enough sell. There's not enough sellers and a lot of buyers are jumping into the market. So we pushed strongly above the EMA. And I'm going to draw my trend line because I want to stay on the right side of the market. And right now, the uptrend, overall uptrend played out. So I'm expecting a new low, but we're working higher. So this is starting to get a little bit too confusing. But still, I'm going to pay respect to the short term uptrend because this is the most recent one. And I need this one to let play out. We have a first entry long, pullback, second entry long. And prices just keep working higher and creating a new extreme. We have a break and a new high. There is no entry right here. 
because the price right now is starting to stack up. Notice how EMA is in, in the middle of those bars. The bars are too big and there's really no clear entry to take this trade right here. So this is a no trading zone. EMA is in the middle of those bars and we have a two conflicting beliefs. But take a look. We have a first leg, break, second leg up. Two leg move up, up trend played out, short trend played out and price is pushed below the EMA. So as I'm watching this and this uptrend played out, prices are pushing below EMA, something is changing once again. Nice bearish reversal bar and this is similar to what's happening right here. EMA is holding prices, this uptrend played out. So I'm assuming that this downtrend is resuming and we're going to get a new low of this downtrend. So this is a good setup according to price action rules. First entry long, it's just a first entry, but it is good enough context here that we can take this trade. The market keeps pushing lower, keep pushing lower, keep pushing lower and price we found here a double bottom now just just as i mentioned second entry is a high probability setup here we have a new high first entry long pullback second entry long it is against the trend because trend is right now down okay so i should be taking the second entry long failure right below this bearish bar and just going short here well no because we have a double bottom right here we have a triple bottom right here look how far away you're from ema and you're going short at the very low of this move Plus, you have this downtrend, you have a break, and you already have a new low. So this is why the entire context is important. You cannot just close your eyes and just look for patterns. You know, program it just for the second entry. The overall context is important. You have a break, new low, you're far away from EMA, and you're at the low of this move. And take a look how prices are starting to swing up and down, up and down. So this is starting to represent a trading range nicely. And when we're trading ranges, we want to buy the lows and sell the highs. And remember, this downtrend played out with the break and a new low. We have a first entry short, pullback, second entry short, failure, big bullish bar. This is a second entry short failure. We're looking for longs because we're coming off the lows. Plus the overall, the entire bias of the day was up. So this can, this is a little bit of backup for us. Fell second entry short, big bullish bar. I would like better if we had we closed above the EMA. But this is still a good enough trap for us because a lot of people are going to go short on a two-legged pullback below the EMA like this, directly into the support after the downtrend played out. So this is a good trap. We have a first entry long, second entry long right here. It easily worked, but this is in the middle of trading range. So this is very aggressive setup. We created an additional trap, which I'm going to market for slightly aggressive traders because this is still part of the first entry long, second entry long set up to again move down it looked like it's going to fail the second entry long they trapped everybody in and instantly reverse higher an experienced trader can see that this is a trap but you want to avoid taking trades in the middle and price keeps trending higher and higher so i hope this video was helpful educational at least you got something out of this little bit at least uh, so you know how to draw the trend lines overall how to read the market context it is very simple. It, there's always two or three easy setups that even a beginner trader can find, find if he is patient enough. That's the most important word here. The patience is the name of the game. So you just have to be patient, follow the rules and don't complicate things. You, you don't worry about the trades that are not at the key entry points that are against the trend. Don't worry about these trades. Just follow the price action, follow the rules, stay with the trend and the high probability setups will present yourself. So take care, buddy.